probably barking orders at him again. Looks like this show is packed with A-list now. The question is, who's headlining? Things will be a lot easier if Darrow was still around. Anyway, I better get back to storage in case he decides to spring a surprise inspection on us. Good idea. diagnostic earlier. It's running smoother than ever. Check up every once in a while. Make sure there's nothing overriding that channel. Will do. Come
Get the hell out. This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... it was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, about the rest of the team. Where are they? Where's Dr. Reed? Eric and Declan are here and alive, but they try to keep us apart. Dr. Reed is in a secured area, heavily guarded. Then I need a way to get the guards out. A distraction. Maybe a lab accident, what do you say? After what those bastards did to Vasily? Of course. But one minor incident in this lab won't be enough. No. But if a couple of other labs go up, simultaneously... Declan and Eric! Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but... There may be another issue. They're tracking your GPLs, aren't they? I've been wondering how to get around that. Smart man. Just like Vasily. He had a plan to shut down their tracking and jamming protocols using a virus. Maybe Declan or Eric know something more about it. Dr. Colvin, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories. I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here... It's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. Dr. Faraday doesn't seem to be working in this building. Any idea where he is? I think he's in the biomech lab next door. But you don't have to go outside to reach him. There's a skywalk that connects the two buildings. Maybe you can use it. I haven't yet located Eric Koss, Dr. Colvin. Do you know where they're keeping him? He's working in a lab on the third floor. There's an elevator that might get you there. It's on the second floor, though, and I heard the guard say something about that floor being shut off. But then again, with those neuro enhancements of yours, you might find a way to get into it. Okay, wait for my signal, Dr. Colvin. When your GPL starts to vibrate, set off the distraction. I understand. And I'm sorry for what I said earlier.
Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. Dr. Faraday, we need to free Megan from the isolation zone. I've got a plan to distract the guards. Three lab accidents. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get Nia and Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I meant to ask. Apparently, Dr. Sevchenko was working on a virus that might help us out. Of course. Uploaded to the security terminal, it would disable the GPL tracker. But I'm afraid I don't know its whereabouts. Perhaps Colvin or Koss? Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. I'm still looking for Dr. Koss. I don't suppose you could point me in the right direction. Eric showed an amazing bit of courage a few weeks back. Slipped a note into one of the project reports, telling me they've got him locked inside a lab on the third floor of the Microgen building. I suspect, though, they'll have cameras and other security devices protecting it. You'll have to be on your guard, son. I'm on it, Doc. In the meantime, be ready for the signal. Your GPL will vibrate. That'll be the time to set off the explosion. Of course, lad. I'll give them a show they won't soon forget.
I've got a possible visitor. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you'd better come out. Looks clear.
What, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Kars, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I've already been in touch with Colvin and Faraday, and we've come up with a plan. If the three of you set off simultaneous explosions in your labs, it might allow me to access the secured area and find Megan. Then we all get out of here. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? Listen, Dr. Koss. Dr. Sevchenko had a plan to neutralize the GPL tracker. Yes, he wanted to upload a viral program onto the security control computer to scramble all of their equipment. He gave me a copy in case... in case anything happened to him. Here, I, I never had the courage to use it. Besides, we had nowhere to go. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here? At least to a certain extent. Uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. The computer I need to upload this to. Where's it located? Uh, Vasily mentioned a tunnel near the back of the compound. I think it leads to the restricted area security terminals, but... Well, I've never used it myself. I... I wish I could be more helpful. Or even... Go with you. But... Stay put, Dr. Koss. Once I upload this virus, you'll have to do your part. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, that's the signal to set off the explosion. I'll wait, Mr. Jensen, but hurry.
Jensen, four GPLs just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. We're missing one. Dr. Reeds. I know. Keep tracking them. And I need you to try something else. Try something? What? Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, so... You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? <laughs> No. Oh, yes, Mr. Jess. You figured out our plans, but not soon enough. Dispose of him, Namir. And this time do it right. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Now that the end is near...
losing your leg right over here. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you! You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. But it does work, Megan. Zhao damn near shut me down. No. No, that can't be true. Have I ever lied to you? I'll reset your software. It'll put things right again. Oh! I've insulated your chip to prevent external signals from reaching it. It's something I developed recently using nanotechnology. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. <laughs> Modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. 
You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam. I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Hey, Jensen! Looks like you could use some help! I see the scientist, Jensen. I'm landing nearby, and I think... Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. Hello? Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence 1, code 1, 1A, preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination, Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code, zero, zero, zero. Confirm, zero. Countdown commencing.